segment, we're going to talk about how you make chords from a scale, or how the composer gets the chords from a scale. So let's just take a basic C scale, all right? Tell me the letters. C, D, E, F, G, A, G, C. Eight notes in a scale, right? How many sharps or flats are in the C scale? I love it. This is the Spanish key. Key of C. S. I don't know. They probably won't get it either, but that's okay. All right, if I take each note in this scale and turn it into a chord, all right, I'm going to take every note of the scale and turn it into a chord. Now, on this paper, see it says up here, to make a major scale, you use the first, the root, the third, and the fifth step of every scale makes a chord, correct? Okay. So, a C chord up here, if you look at the scale sheet, is C, E, and G. All right, so we're going to just write down C, E, G. Now I want to make a D chord. All right? Now, there's, there's a cheaty way you can do this, too. Just use every other note of the scale that you're writing in. You know what? I just figured that out. <laughs> I just had an epiphany. Is that what that's called? Yes. You don't even need the dumb scale sheet. Because you want to stay in the key of, of the scale that you're using, look, all you have to do is go D, F, A. <laughs> I learn more from teaching than I do from, yeah. Okay, there's, normally there would be a sharp there, wouldn't there? But because the key of C has no F sharp, you can't have this F sharp here. So this chord, number one, if you make it into a chord, is always major. Number two, if you make it into a chord, is minor. Most of the time. I, I'm not ever going to say always. Somebody always comes along and has a different idea. But in general, it's, this is how it works. Now look, E, G, B. The G sharp in B is major. Can't have the G sharp, so this is also minor. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, look. F, A, C. Major. G, B, D. Major. A, C, and you can't use this one because it's repeated. E. Normally that would have a C sharp, correct? Right. Can't have C sharp because it's the key of C. C. So this is minor. This one would be B, D sharp, and F sharp. I can't have either one of those, so eight or seven is diminished. But we're not going to use it. We're only going to use one through six. Okay? Now, if I say to you, tell me the chords. In key, the major chords in the key of C. What will you say? C, F, and G. If I ask you what number they are, what will you say? One, One four, four five. five. And you will go and hear a, a band leader or somebody who's leading a jazz group or something, and they'll say, All right, give me a one, four, five key of D. And you're, and you're going to go, Whew, I'm impressed. Because the whole band knows exactly what to do when they do that. D, and I know that's why God gave me five fingers. He was thinking, I can fix it so they can figure out one, four, or five on their hands. <laughs> well, think about it, hold your hand up. D, E, F, G, A. D, G, A. One, four, five. C. C, D, E, F, G. One, four, five. C, F, G. You should see your faces. <laughs> okay? It works every time. Now watch. Let's do a, a scale with more in it. B flat, C, D, E, F, G, A, B flat. 
two flats in the key, right? All right. What's chord number one? E flat. E flat. Chord number four? E flat. And chord number five? F. Those are the three chords you will see every time you pick up a piece of music and the key signature looks like that, guaranteed the chords in the song are going to be B flat, E flat, and F. You should be more excited than that. <laughs> Everybody. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Now here's how it happened. And here's my new invented cheaty way. Spell B flat chord. B flat, D, F. Spell the next chord. C, D flat, G. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. D chord. D, F, A. That's minor. Next chord, E flat, G, B flat. Oh man, I can't tell you how excited I am. F, A, C. G, B flat, and D. And A, C, E flat. That's diminished, we don't care about that one anyway. So, what are the major chords in the key of B flat? B flat, E flat, and F. What are the minor chords? C, D, and G. 